What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Philip Richards here in MLB 13, the show. Road to the show. And P. Rich doing everything he can to break into that starting lineup. Hitting a monster bomb here. Uh, we have completed our advancement goals the last couple times that they have came up. We still have not moved up yet. Still coming off the bench, getting a little bit more opportunity now in the last couple weeks than we have at the beginning of the season. So the big key is to make the most of your opportunities when you get those opportunities to take at-bats, to field balls, do all the little things that it takes to get those extra few training points to, one, let you finish your advancement goals. So making sure that... If they say you need to up your durability, that you do that. Make sure that happens. And two, the more training points you get, obviously the better your guy is going to be. So the more you start performing on the field, like P. Rich did here. And you can see, I kind of zoomed in. You can see after he hit that, he kind of just <laughs> kind of like looked down the pitcher there after he hit a just a monster home run. I just thought that was hilarious. So I had to go back into the replay vault and check that one out. But like I said, P. Rich doing everything he can to um, do well when he gets the opportunity. And there you can see he stretches a double into a triple, able to slide in there safely. And uh, you can see that I am very, very close now to my training goals. So I'm going to ask, say, hey, how about I play third base? And a lot of you guys have asked me to try that, and they say no, which, does again, does not make much sense at all. You have uh, Castro right now as your starting shortstop, who is a very good player, and they won't move me over. But it doesn't matter because I become the everyday starter and I move to shortstop, and Castro basically just disappears. Not on, if you can see there, he's not in the starting lineup. So they didn't move him to third. They just put him on the bench. So, again, makes absolutely no sense to me that why they would trade for me in the first place if this was their plan all along is just moving me to short and taking over Castro's role when he's clearly a young up-and-coming player as it is. So why wouldn't they move me or him to third base or second base? Doesn't make any sense, but I'm going into the starting lineup, baby. Tonight's game is just around the corner as we start to wrap up the MLB pregame show. But before we go down to the action, let's take a look at a young player to watch for as we give you the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Philip Richards will be our subject. As his managers told us, he plans to use him in a more regular starting role. Sounds like a good vote of confidence to me. Boy, and that's exactly what you dream about as a player. You have to be a regular. You want to go out there and play every day. Now the hard part really begins, and that's proving that you belong out there. The great players thrive when they're given that opportunity to improve their standing as a player, and that's what he's going to be trying to do right now. And as long as he doesn't make too much out of it in his head, you know, no brain, no headache, he should be fine. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. So I know you guys have seen those, that before, uh, but I just think it's very cool. They've really, really improved the presentation this year in MLB 13 The Show over last year's MLB 12 The Show. And I think, uh, I think I really do enjoy some of that stuff. So I'm very excited to when I start breaking some records and uh, doing things like that, what that presentation is going to look like. Because if you remember, if you guys, I know I have gained a lot of new subs in the last month. So maybe not all of you guys are up to speed with... Uh, KB and my road to the show in MLB 12, um, but he broke quite a few records, home run records, all-time records, single season records, all that kind of stuff, and a lot of those records that he broke, they didn't make very much of a big deal about them, especially like the all-time home run record. You'd think that would be a huge, huge deal, all sorts of celebration, but it wasn't, so... When I broke Barry Bonds' record last year with KB, it was kind of just like, heh, nothing really happened. Um, they made more more of a big deal when he broke, like, uh, when he passed Babe Ruth and when he passed Hank Aaron and stuff like that. So it almost was like a snub to Barry Bonds or something. I don't know. Hopefully this year now, with all the presentation that they do with, like, player of the game stuff at the end, uh, the on-field interview things, the, when you get a start, you're signing autographs. I think that's... All that stuff just adds to the game so much more than it ever has in the past. So I'm hoping that when you start breaking 
MLB records that they take that uh, take that awesomeness, which is their presentation, and continue that with uh, stuff like for breaking records. I think that would be amazing. So I'm looking forward to at some point with one of these guys, P. Rich or Ken Griffey Jr., to start uh, breaking some records so we can kind of see how that's going to go. But P. Rich obviously has a chance with KB's uh, genes. The kid is just smoking the ball now. Um, this is still pre-patch. <laughs> Post-patch is another story, but I think we're getting better with that. I know I talked about the last few times. Uh, basically, there's a patch that came out a couple weeks ago. And for you guys that asked, I've seen this comment a few times of how you get the patch. You have to be signed into PSN, and you have to um, put that little code that's in your... Uh, MLB 12 the show, there's a little, or MLB 13 the show, sorry. There's a code on the inside of your case. There's like a little uh, piece of paper in there that has a code on it. You have to type that in and it unlocks all the online stuff. Uh, and then if you're just logged into PSN when you launch the game, it will automatically update for you. So nothing special you have to do. You just have to be signed into PSN and you will get the update. But uh, before the patch, you were getting a lot more meatballs. You are getting... Uh, your timing didn't really have to be perfect and you were still able to hit home runs like this one. Post patch is a different story. It's much more difficult to hit. Uh, at least for me and for a few people that I've talked to, it was a lot harder. And look at this play. Very close to getting that guy out. Almost a Derek Jeter type play right there. If I just, just need to work on my arm strength, and that could have been an amazing top 10 play right there. I would be on Sports Center for sure with that one. But go yard again here. This one, uh, pull it right down the line, which is good. Uh, obviously, if you want to be a home run hitter, you got to be able to pull the ball a little bit. Those are the shortest part of the park is right down the foul poles. So if you don't have a lot of power right off the bat, if you can able to pull the ball down the line, you're going to get more home runs than uh, a guy that's smoking ones to center field or trying to get to the gaps. You're not going to get as far a hit out there. Most ballparks... In center field, in those right center and left center fields are over 400 feet. And uh, you got to get all the ball to get it over 400 feet, I'm telling you what. And especially, if you, I, I forget this all the time because I'm so used to be playing with KB still. To this day, it feels like I I'm, 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 should be doing much better. But then I stop and realize and say, hey, man, P. Rich, is, <laughs> this is really only his second year. And look at this. I tried to back up a little bit, and my guy just turns around and it hits me right in the back. So, <laughs> not a very good defensive play there. If I would have just stood there, probably would have caught the line drive. But uh, going back to that, uh, playing with KB, obviously he was 99 overall everything. And then you come into a guy like P. Rich or Ken Griffey the third, and you seem to forget that uh, it's only his second year in the bigs. So my skills are just not there. I think my contact contact and my power and all that kind of stuff are in the 50s and 60s so I'm not going to be mashing the ball as much as I did with KB and uh, it, it takes some getting used to for sure because I played MLB 12 the show right up pretty much right up until launch of MLB 13 the show so it's all still fresh in my mind of how well KB hit the ball and it was almost it almost kind of I don't know it screwed my head up a little bit as far as uh, when I got into it this one thinking I was just going to come right in and hit 60 bombs my first season it's just not going to happen I mean you your guy is just not skilled enough at this point in his career to be doing that so you just have to be patient uh, baseball is a long game it's a long sport there's a long season and a long careers can be had in baseball so you just have to be patient and wait for your training points and skills and all that kind of stuff to meet up to whatever your potential is going to be so just keep plugging away if you're upset about hitting or pitching or whatever. Just remember, we're all still very, very new in this year, in this game, and you got to work on those skills. All right, guys, catch you guys later. Peace.